Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video by Training Reviews. So this is the Comica Smartphone Video Kit. Essentially what this is, is a microphone and a hand grip for smartphones. So one thing I've tried before in the past is connecting my external DSLR microphones to my smartphones and they've never really worked and on the odd occasion they've worked, the quality wasn't great. So I wasn't really sure if there was any viable product out there that actually did a great job until I came across this. So I wanted to test it out for myself. So I bought this and I want to give you guys a little audio test to see if it actually works. So let's get straight into it. Right, so I've taken this out of the box already. It comes in this nice little carry pouch, which I think is pretty convenient. Inside, you'll have all of the equipment you have. I've already taken it out, but nonetheless, I'll just show you what it looks like. You've got various different news guides on how to set up the hand grip and the microphone. You have a nice little padded uh, slots for each of your items that you get with it. You also have a dead cat sleeve for when you're filming outside and it's a little bit windy, so you can use that as well. But I'll be using it indoors just now to give you a test, so I won't be needing that. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So here we have it. This is the uh, Comica hand grip device. Now, the reason I bought this one and this model number here, the VM10K3, is because it comes with a Bluetooth remote control that you can use to take videos and photos as well. So having to control all of my filming wirelessly, I think it's a big convenience for me. So that's one of the reasons why I've chosen this model. But this is the design. It's actually very smooth. It's solid build. You can also attach a tripod stand underneath as well via a uh, quarter millimeter screw. So I actually have one that I've used previously, so I will be attaching this to the bottom of it. Although this doesn't come with it, you can buy that separately from Amazon. And then you also have the uh, phone uh, stand as well that it's very easy to set up. You screw into place and you adjust the height by screwing the top part there. Now this is the uh, little microphone that comes with it. Now you can see it is quite small. It's uh, very lightweight and it is controlled via the uh, headphone port on a smartphone. So a lot of smartphones nowadays are coming with out of the headphone jacks, so you will have to use the adapter. Again, I was a bit skeptical. Will it work with an adapter? Will it not? I've had bad experiences with this in the past, but nonetheless, I will try this out and see how it goes. So what I'll do is I'll stick this on top and tighten it. Now I'm using my Google Pixel 3 as a test, so I've got the uh, headphone adapter here. So I'll put the uh, USB-C in there and I will connect the headphone port of the microphone into that then I'll just put my tripod stand on at the bottom as well now I like the Bluetooth remote control It's very small as I was saying it is pretty small and uh, just be careful when you take it out but you just hold it down for about five seconds to pair it and it will pick it up on your Bluetooth settings but you can just press the button once and it will start taking pictures or photos depending on your uh, camera app that you have so that's what it looks like there now what I'm going to do is turn my Google Pixel camera on and I will test I've already connected this and I will take a picture with the uh, front facing camera for example right you can just take uh, pictures videos as wirelessly with that Bluetooth remote control so it is pretty convenient sometimes there might be some connection issues and you have to reconnect but nonetheless it is pretty useful and it's small but that also means that you might be able to lose this quite easily because it's quite small so just be careful with that now onto the uh, actual microphone test so one thing I found when I was testing this earlier is that the uh, stock camera app on the Pixel 3 does not work with the microphone and you'll find that this is also the case for a lot of the Android phones out there. Haven't tested this with an iPhone just yet but I've heard some reviews that it works fine with the, uh, the stock iPhone camera app on there but nonetheless I just wanted to let you know that if you do experience issues with your normal camera app that comes with your phone if it's an Android one you'll have to get a third party one. So the one that I'm using is called Open Camera. I'll have a link in the description below with that. So download that and in the settings of that camera for video settings, you'll be able to adjust the uh, audio output and choose an external mic. So I will be giving you a test using the standard microphone on my phone compared to the microphone that comes with this Comica kit. So I've unplugged this and I'm going to be recording a quick clip using just the internal mic on my, on my phone. Hey guys, this is an audio test using the internal microphone on my Google Pixel 3. I'll give you a comparison to see how it sounds with the uh, microphone in. 
Next, I will be plugging this in. I'll go to settings and I'll make sure that the uh, video settings and then the audio source is set to external mic, which it is. So let's go ahead. Hey guys, this is an audio test with the uh, Comica microphone plugged into my Google Pixel 3 and using the open camera third party app. So can you tell the difference? So there you have it guys, pretty clear, right? I can tell the uh, difference in the audio quality straight away when I play it back on my phone. When I play it back on my laptop, it's also even better as well. So when you do take this outside, I haven't tested it in the wind yet, but I presume it's gonna be 10 times better than just using that Pixel 3 audio input. So the microphone, it's done a great job. It's a shame that it only works with an external application such as open camera. I'm sure there's other camera apps that are compatible with external mics. Nonetheless, it does do the job well. I do like the hand grip. I do like to carry it like this. I think uh, if I'm gonna be taking it out on holiday and maybe interviewing or vlogging and that kind of stuff, it's just a lot more convenient to take this with your phone rather than carrying a big heavy SLR camera. Um, which does take a lot of space and probably if you're doing a lot of filming for an extended period of time You probably start feeling that your arms are starting to hurt by carrying really heavy duty items for for that long Now I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy this item. It is 75 pounds roughly on Amazon It's not the cheapest item. I think if you're gonna buy a Bluetooth grip um, Tripod that kind of stuff you can find it a little bit cheaper but because this whole kit comes with the whole microphone that is compatible with smartphones and it's quite difficult to find really good ones out there, then uh, I think 75 pound is, is worth the price. So if you are gonna be going and doing vlogging outdoors and you just wanna find a really lightweight, convenient thing that actually works with your videos, then this microphone is a good choice. So if you have any other comments, if you'd like me to test anything else, then I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you liked the video, I hope you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.